everybody. I'm April and this is my partner Maria. We're the owners of So Local Stitch Lounge in Sudbury, Ontario. In this video we're going to show you how to make a mask to help protect your fellow humans from COVID-19. We recognize that not everyone is able to wear a mask. Race, class, and disability are some of the reasons why. We want to remind everyone to not make judgments but be kind and try not to speak moistly on anyone. In your kit, you'll have three different fabrics for the exterior of your masks, solid lining fabric, as well as uh, interlining, which is gonna be between the layers of your lining and exterior. And it just gives an extra layer of protection. You'll also have a couple of strips of jersey cord. So it's just one inch strips of jersey fabric. And we're using this instead of elastic because elastic is really hard to come by these days. So this is something we won't run out of. So what you do is just take that cord and pull it tight. And the edges are gonna curl in towards each other and it ends up giving you a nice, soft, stretchy cord that's really, really comfortable around your head and behind the ears. It's really easy to tie. We also have paper clips, which are gonna be uh, the wire that goes over your nose, just gives it a little extra seal. Some felt to wrap around that wire so that it's not gonna poke into you. You'll also have a pattern, and this is a pattern that uh, we came up with after trying out a few different patterns that we found online, and we just made a couple of changes, but it's available for free for anyone who wants it. So besides all the stuff you have in your kit, you're gonna need some scissors for cutting paper, scissors for fabric, pins, and thread. We're going to pin the pattern to our fabrics and cut out two of each fabric. I'm going to actually start with the outside fabric and you want to cut two layers at once. I'm just going to pin this in place. So we have two pieces cut of the main fabric and now we're going to cut the muslin and the lining and before we do that we're just going to fold right on this dotted line. take our outside main fabric and we're going to put our muslin right on the back just line it up with the edge like this on those two pieces and then we're going to line these two up with the muslin on the back the way we place them right sides together for the two outside fabrics and We'll pin just across here. We're going to go to our sewing machine and sew right along this edge with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Now we're going to do the same thing with the lining. Next, we're going to trim the seam allowance down. Now we're going to press the seams. Now we're going to put the two pieces together, right sides together, matching up the seam first. and we'll be sewing from the lining to the other side right here. And 
And while we're over here, we can go ahead and sew the bottom seam as well. So the next thing we have to do is just trim the seam allowance just where the stitching is and about to an eighth of an inch again. This will just help the curve lie flat. Now we can turn it right side out and press it. So now you want to press both the top and bottom seam. At the edges, you can allow the seam allowance to just fold in and press that down. And since we're over here right now, we might as well fold in the sides. And then one more time. This is gonna be the channel where we push the, uh, the cord through. We're not gonna sew it yet. First, we need to put the nose piece in. So right here, if you were doing a removable filter, this is where you'd wanna fold this in and keep this little edge open and just fold your piece to here so that you could stick the filter in and out. But I'm not doing that. So now you're gonna need some kind of little pliers because we're gonna bend the ends in of the paper clip. First straighten it out and then we'll just fold a tiny bit at the end and squish it down. So at first I just did this and then I found that I could still feel the sharp edges so I'm gonna cover it in felt so that we can't feel it at all. I just need a piece of felt a little bit longer than this and just slightly wider. I'm gonna cut about a half inch. It doesn't matter that this is all messed up, it's fine. I'm gonna fold this over and I'm gonna zigzag right over the paper clip until we're at the other end. So I'm gonna to go to zigzag stitch. And don't worry, this doesn't have to be pretty. No one's gonna see it. I'm gonna make it as wide as I can. When I get to here, I'm gonna just cover this up and keep going to the end. So now that's stitched, I'm just gonna trim it down a little bit. Right beside the stitching. Now we have a nice, flexible, and soft wire. Now we're gonna make a channel so that we can insert the wire up here in the nose piece. This is around four inches long. So I'm gonna sew a channel two inches on either side of the center seam. And I'm gonna make it about three eighths of an inch wide. Next step is to insert the wire. It's going to go in between the lining 
and the muslin right into the channel that we created. We are going to sew the channels closed on each end to keep our wire in place. We're going to sew right along this edge to create a channel for our elastic. jersey and just stretch it out and that helps it fold up it rolls so that it becomes stretch elastic cord and then I'm going to take this whole thing and cut it in half it's enough for two masks I'm going to use a bodkin to pull this through the channel that we made you could use a safety pin if you don't have a bodkin on hand step of the sewing machine is to sew straight across here right over your elastic so that your elastic won't pull right out when you're adjusting your mask. Just make sure that you even out your elastic so that they're the same length before you do that. So this part of the elastic is going to go right behind your neck and then you're going to use these two ends so you can adjust it and tie it behind your head. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching our video, everybody. Now go wash your hands.